going on guys? This is Tristan Lurch here uh, with XLR Boost and MicroBoost. I'm one of the regional sales managers here. And I'm here to show or take you guys on a tour of the 305 XLRE by Forest River. Let's go take a look. Well guys, welcome inside the garage on the 305 XLRE. Um, we got a lot of great features here to go over. So starting off at the ramp door. So this year on the MicroBoost, our ramp doors are gonna be 80 and a half an inch tall to get in bigger side by side. So we grew right there. Um, also this year we have the ramp door by Lippert, so it's going to be a 3,000 pound uh, weight rating in the ramp position and a 1,500 pound uh, rating in this position in the party deck mode. Um, another cool feature we have is going to be our railing. It's going to actually stack inside of itself this year um, to give you more room in the garage. And then also another great feature is it's got this little foot flush there to extend it out. If you get to the dealer or you get your unit and you say, oh, my ramp's about a couple inches too short, you're just gonna push that in and it extends it all the way out there. All right, next we're gonna be going inside the unit here. Um, but right before that, you can see where we have our Furion camera prep here. So it's prepped for a backup camera if you wanna add one on there. And we also got our blue LED lights here to give you a little light while you're out here camping. So inside the unit here, um, we're gonna have our sit and sleep position here so you can actually use this table that comes in every uh, boost and micro boost. Um, on the micro boost line you're just going to set the table here on these cleats. They're going to be on both sides. Fold those pads out and you got a queen size bed below. And then a cool thing above us we have our sl er, sleep and store. You're going to pull the bed down and it's going to drop down into the de bed position right there. Um, so if you got to get uh, kids or anybody back here, they got a bed up top, bed back here, so you can fit some kids back here and have a little camp out. Um, another cool thing we have, um, we like to brag about here is our 5,000 pound D-rings. Um, you can see them, they're all over the floor here. Um, one cool thing we really like to point out in this price range, uh, where we use the 5,000 pound D-rings, most of our competitors, especially in this price point, use about a 2,500 D-ring. And when we get off to the outside, we'll show you where we put our 2,500 D-ring. Um, you're also gonna get some storage back here as well. Um, so if you got some stuff for your toys, helmets, stuff can go in here. Um, you're gonna have a, a vent here. So if you have your toys back here and you got some gas spillage or gas cans, you can open them up here. You're gonna have one at the top and then one below the sit and sleep in the back back there as well. And we can continue on, we'll go in the living room. So this is a great little feature we have here. Um, at XLR, it's gonna be our tire pressure monitoring system. It's gonna come with every uh, boost and micro boost unit. So when you get your unit, take a peek for this. Um, when we get to the outside, we'll talk more about the wheels and how it's banded to it. Um, but this little um, display goes, just goes right inside your truck. Um, it's gonna tell you your tire pressure and the temperature of your tires while you're going down the road. Um, but also new for 2023 this year, um, if you've seen the 2022 boost, so new is going to be our new wood grain uh, cabinetry here. So we lightened it up. We went with some black hardware on the handles and everything like that to really make it pop, feel more residential and homey. Um, same with the floor, lightened up the floor there. Um, beautiful pattern, everything like that. And then getting here, when we start talking about some appliances, you're gonna notice I say the word Furion a lot. The reason we say Furion is because that's a brand that we use here and we're gonna use mostly everything inside your unit's gonna be Furion. So if you're out camping, you have a problem or anything, you can either call the XLR customer service or Furion customer service. So you don't have to play around trying to figure out who made your product. Um, but just starting off, you'll see your Furion microwave, your Furion vent, your 17 inch Furion uh, stove here with a three burner up top. You got blue lights here to let you know when it's on. And then they turn red to so show you that it's actually heating. It's a 17 inch oven there. So it gives you plenty of room um, for pizzas, turkeys, anything like that, that you're really looking to cook, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. Um, another great thing is our Thomas Paine theater seats here. You can really see um, one cool thing is every one is gonna recline as well. So it's just a little tab on the inside, give it a little pull and you're kicked back, relaxing. So you're sitting on your couch, recline back all day, um, watching your TV over here. So this is gonna be our TV prepped for the Boost and Micro Boost. So we're not gonna compete with Walmart and everything like that. So we're not gonna throw a TV in there or anything. We're just gonna let you guys go out, decide exactly what size or what brand TV you wanna put in your unit. Um, but they're all gonna be prepped there. So you got a backer plate right here. 
um, and all your power and satellite up there. Um, moving around, we're also gonna have our 30 inch 5000 BTU, uh, again, Fury on fireplace there. So that's either, you can either light it up or use it for heat. So if you don't wanna turn the heat on, you just wanna have some cool colors going, you can switch between the ambience and have the colors go in there. Um, another great feature in our boost and micro boost is we're gonna have um, stainless steel sinks in all our uh, kitchens and our bathrooms. Even if you have a half bath in the back, check that kitchen sink. It's gonna be a stainless steel instead of a plastic bowl back there. Um, and then finally, another great feature this year, we went with uh, upper cabinets. They're all gonna be glass. Um, gives you a little bit more of a residential homey feel. Um, and they look great with everything in there. Um, if you have great, beautiful dishes, cups and everything like that, really kind of show it off a little bit as well. But one last thing for this living area, as you can see, there's plenty of storage. We have cabinets, cabinets, storage, storage, drawers, storage, over-the-counter storage. And then I almost forgot one of the most important things, um, this Furion 12 volt, 10 cubic foot refrigerator here is something that we're very uh, proud of. So on top of your unit, you're gonna have a 100 or 200 watt solar panel. Um, so that solar panel is gonna charge those batteries up and everything. And as long as your batteries have power, this refrigerator will run. And then at night, say you wanna turn the, the compressor off in your refrigerator, here you got the off the grid mode. If you just turn it to off the grid mode, that's gonna turn off the compressor at night and act as a cooler. So when you wake up in the morning, come turn that right back on to get your fridge going and you'll be good. And that's the last thing right here in the living room for us as we make our approach up to the bedroom. So the first thing you're gonna see right as you get to the upper deck here, again, Furion, like we said before, Furion everything. You have your Furion radio here. Um, it's a two zone radio, so you can play either outdoor, indoor, or both. Um, you're gonna get two interior speakers, marine grade, and two out uh, exterior speakers, marine grade as well. Another great thing at the Boost and Micro Boost is you're gonna get this nice control panel. So all your switches are gonna be pretty centralized, slide out awning, everything's right here. You either have a, you either have a little thing for your water pump there, it lights up blue when it's on uh, to let you know it's on as well. And then here's gonna be that 30 amp solar controller. So one important thing here is, like I said, it's gonna be 30 amps. So that solar panel on top of your, the 200 watt solar panel on top of your roof is at most gonna use nine amps. So actually aftermarket, if you wanted, you could add two more solar panels and plug it right into this controller without having to upgrade that controller. So that's something in the aftermarket um, that you guys can really do. And then also another Furion, once again, um, Furion AC. So we use 15,000 BTU ACs. Um, standard at Microboost and Boost. So those are bigger ACs than our competitors, especially in this price segment. And then one of my favorite things with this Furion uh, AC, so it's got heat, cool, auto, and it's also got a dry mode. So say you're somewhere where it's super wet out, you see some condensation starting to build up on your wall, you can actually turn it to dry mode and it acts as a dehumidifier to pull that moisture out of the air and let you be comfortable in your camper. Now we're gonna be in the bathroom here of your 305 XLRE. Um, you see here, you got a nice big shower with the skylight right above. So I'm a five foot eight guy, not the biggest, but I got plenty of room in here. So if you're a little bit bigger than I am, you'll have room. Also, you're gonna have plenty of storage in here. Two cupboards there. Um, like I said, in the kitchen, stainless steel bowl here. Um, just what we do here at Boost and Micro Boost, no plastic in that sink. Got a beautiful medicine cabinet right there with a mirror so right when you get out of the shower, you can check yourself out. You got storage right under there. And then one of our favorite features here at Boost and Micro Boost, again, Furion, is gonna be this Furion tankless water heater. Um, so one thing it's really gonna let you do is it's gonna let you actually choose the exact temperature the water's gonna come out. So if you want it to be dialed down to 115 degrees, you can dial it down to 115 degrees. If you want it to be 120, you dial it to 120. So we kind of call it our sleep number. You find the number you're comfortable showering in, you set it to that, within seconds you'll get there and it'll be heated. Um, another cool thing, it's got a safety feature. If the water gets too hot, it automatically shuts it off so you can't get burnt or scolding. Um, but this will help you save water in the long run. You're not playing the hot and cold, twisting the showers, trying to find the perfect mix of water. Um, you just set it to that, get right in, take a quick shower, boom, save you some water. And then going into mom and dad's favorite place of the camper, the master bed, the only place to get away from the kids. 
Um, so you're gonna have a RV queen bed here in the 305 XLRE with uh, two wardrobes, mom and dad's wardrobes here, little cabinet under there. Um, another thing is you're gonna get an extra wardrobe right over here on this side. So if mom wants to bring a couple extra shirts or whatever, you got plenty of space, three more drawers here. Um, and then under the bed, you're gonna have storage, which is another cool little thing. So you have extra storage there. If you got some bins or something that you don't use every day, you can kind of keep them under there. You got a little shoe kickoff here. So you take your shoes off at night, throw them right under there, crawl right into bed. Another big thing is here, again, I'm not the tallest guy I know in the world, but I'm five foot eight, um, maybe five foot nine on a good day, and I'm standing straight up here on an upper deck. I can get in and out of bed here easily. I'm not having to be crunched over and die for it. Um, so that's another great feature. And then we also included these blackout curtains this year. Um, so if you're anywhere, you're a late sleeper, the sun's up and you wanna keep snoozing, pull those bad boys down and they'll black out this room. If it's a hot day or something like that, and you have these open, you can open both these windows up right here, get a little cross ventilation, really get the air moving and help you out. And then this uh, unit also has the second AC in here. So if you are again, one of those hot sleepers, boom, second AC, it's gonna be an option though for this unit. And then you're also gonna have your TV prep in your bedroom as well. So another TV hung up in here and you can hang out in here and enjoy all night long. Now let's head outside and check out the exterior features. So here on the outside of the 305 XLRE, uh, start off here, we're gonna show you guys our ball um, pin. So this is an 18,000 pound pin box here um, from Norco Industries. And another thing uh, you can't see right now um, is the frame itself. So our frame is gonna be a Norco frame. It's an engineered specific frame. Um, it's gonna be bigger um, than our competitors, especially in this price point. And it's gonna be fully e-coated as well to help with some rust. Um, also, down here, you're gonna see you have your battery here. Um, our batteries are just for on-lot um, demonstrations. There's no warranty with the batteries, so pretty much they're out here. So when you're out at uh, your local dealer trying to check out your boost, you can open up the slides, turn all the lights on. They don't have to carry a big battery charger around, so it makes it nice and easy. But we do recommend if you're gonna buy one, um, throw your own batteries in there, and you can uh, actually switch whatever you want. If you want lithium, glass mat batteries on that controller on the inside, you can choose exactly what you have. Um, so you have a big battery compartment here for you on the boost side here. And then it's also gonna come back. You're gonna have some lights over here if it's dark. Um, your landing gear switch here as well. So really helps you out. And then your battery um, air comes out there so it doesn't overheat. And then we'll wor work our way over to the sidewall. So we use a gel coat sidewall here, as you can see how beautiful it looks um, at XLR Boost. It's gonna be one big uh, poured product and it's just be hung up on our sidewall here. Under the sidewall, which you don't see, um, is actually gonna be our spray foam insulation. So that's a two part chemical compound um, that we use here. It's an R7 barrier. Uh, we're one of the first people to adopt it, especially in the toy hauler industry. Um, so what that's gonna do, it's gonna have a little mold resistance in there. It's gonna be a little eco, or sound detonating, and it's gonna be eco-friendly. So it's another great thing we have here, and that's gonna be standard on all our Boost and Micro Boost products for 2023. Um, moving over, 20 pound LP bottles, um, one on both sides here, so we'll get to the other one um, on the off-door side, but two 20 pound bottles, um, that's gonna be standard on Boost and Micro Boost. You're gonna get a giant pass-through here. Um, you're gonna get your power cord, um, all your, cranks and everything for manual overrides in case there's a power failure. We'll, we'll cover those when we get there. Um, and then we're gonna have our lipper uh, awning here. So one cool thing about our awnings, um, if you notice where the blue lights are, they're actually pulled out away. So when the awning comes out, they're on the arms. It's gonna pull the bugs to those lights. Um, and we also use the blue light instead of the uh, white light. So that's gonna help uh, the bugs as, as well. So the bugs don't come to the blue lights as uh, much as they come to the white lights, but with those being pulled away, it's gonna pull the bugs away from your camper where some of our competitors would run a line right under this awning. And as soon as you open that door, those bugs dive bomb right into your camper, um, can ruin your night and everything like that. Um, our second thing is our sturdy step from uh, Mo Ride. So this is a very sturdy step here. You can trust it. You get a big grab handle if you're going in and out of the unit. Um, it's got the boost edging in it this year, so that's something, a little brand recognition there. And then another cool thing is this year, if you're on uneven ground, nice and easy, you just push this, you can 
slide your legs in and out to match your terrain. So if you're on uneven terrain there and you gotta get a nice easy thing, boom, nice and easy, push of a button, and they're super light. You can do it one-handed. Um, it's not gonna be a strain to you. Um, here's gonna be our Furion exterior speakers here. So like I said, in the inside, you're gonna get two interior, two exterior speakers, um, and those are gonna be Furion as well. Um, TV hookup for the outside. So you got your awning now, it's a nice day. You wanna take that living room TV, throw it out here. Um, you're fully capable of doing that. You got your satellite hookups and your power hookups right there. Um, so nice, easy, um, beautiful placement. Enjoy it under your awning, watch your TV all day. Um, here, back here, we're gonna have our uh, floating steps here. Um, no sturdy steps back here for your garage, but if you're on uneven terrain here, it's nice and easy. Just fold them right in and out. Um, and again, super light, super easy, super convenient. And then back here, optioned on this unit is gonna be our 30 gallon fuel cell. So you'll actually get a fuel cell and pump with a nozzle on it, um, 30 gallons like I said. One cool thing is when you shut this off, it's actually gonna suck all the gas out of the line and back into the tank. So it's not gonna uh, to help relieve the drips and spills. So you're not gonna be dripping gas everywhere when you go down or whenever you're camping. And then like I said on the inside, where we use the 5,000 pound D-rings and the, uh, the 2,500 pound on the outside, this is our leash latch for your pets, animals, and this is where we put our 2,500 pound D-ring. Some of our competitors like to put it on the inside in the garage uh, to hold down your toys, your motorcycles, anything else, um, where we just used to use it to hold down your dogs. So that's our big uh, kind of bragging rights there. Um, this unit's also got the electric stab or stabilizer jacks optioned on here, so it's pretty easy. Um, you can retract them, just a push of a button, extend them, same button. Um, and that's gonna help stabilize your unit when you're out there camping, and those are gonna be uh, optioned on the micro boost line. Coming around to your ramp door, um, like I said, you have 1,500 pounds in this party deck mode, so you can have tons of people up there really get uh, camping, partying it up, whatever you really wanna do with it. Um, say it's early in the morning, you wanna enjoy your coffee and you don't wanna get your feet wet, boom, you got a little patio right there. Um, here's gonna be the ex another vent like we talked about on the inside. Um, so this one we didn't see on the inside, it's actually below that sit and sleep couch there so you couldn't see it, but there's another vent to really air it out if you got uh, gasoline in there with you. You're gonna have your 50 amp power cord here um, or 30 amp if it's a micro boost travel trailer, depending on what you're gonna have. And then on the inside, we didn't talk about this, but uh, we use cable slides here at XLR Boost, Micro Boost. Uh, the real reason we use the cable slide, because it's above uh, the frame slide, so we don't have to cut into the frame, we don't have to weaken the frame at all. It's all above the uh, frame, and it's a very easy system. If you do have a, a malfunction, uh, you just take a drill bit, put it in the top right above your fascia, and you can drill this in manually. So if you're anywhere, you have a power fill, you can always button it up and get home safe. And then we're gonna get to all your connections here. So you're gonna have your city water connect, um, your fresh water, cable satellite hookups, and then you're gonna have your black tank flush to really clean out those black tanks, uh, get the sensors cleaned. And then we talked about it on the inside, um, but here's gonna be that tankless water heater on the outside, a uh, very sleek design, um, nice and easy. Um, we love it, it does, uh, 2.4 gallons per minute of hot water. So plenty of hot water there while you're showering. You're gonna have an outdoor shower here as well. So this does hot and cold. So if you're in the mud all day, four wheeling, ATV and whatever you're doing, you gotta spray down before you wanna go inside. Uh, take a shower, you can do it right here with hot or cold again. Um, other side of that pass through here, um, it's also gonna have your battery disconnect right in here on this pass through. So that's the heart and soul, the 12 volt systems, the heart and soul of your RV. So if you don't want your carbon monoxide uh, detector to really pull that battery when you're not using it, just flip that right to the off mode and it'll keep uh, all your batteries there. And turn it to the on mode if you, really, if you need to charge your batteries and let that solar panel charge them up. And then again, 20 pound propane on the other side, uh, like we talked about before. And then this is a cool little feature. So in case there's a mechanical or power failure and you can't get your landing gear up and down, you can actually just take this crank and it goes right through here. 
and you can actually just crank it right up and down right like that. So another XLR little extra built feature, case of emergency use there. Thanks for taking the tour of the 305 XLRE with us. If you want us to get more information on our other, our other floor plans, check out our website at forestriverinc.com slash XLR.